All right, we're gonna get started by organizing qualitative data. So remember from the introduction PowerPoint, qualitative data is data where the response to the variable or the question being asked is a word, not a number. So we're gonna organize qualitative data by creating a relative frequency distribution. Um, this is used for qualitative and quantitative data. And what we're gonna do is we're going to list the data values that we see along with how many times those values occur or the frequency and then the relative frequency or the percentage of times that those data values occur. So we're gonna do this with a pretty simple example. So what I have here is a data set showing the favorite animal from 20 preschoolers. So the preschoolers were asked, what's your favorite animal? And these are the responses that we got. So we're gonna create a three column table to do this. So the first column, I'm gonna go ahead and label with the name of the variable. So this is favorite animal. Okay, that's what we were trying to find out. That's the question we asked. And then the second column is going to be the frequency or the number of times that that animal is seen. And then the last column is going to be our relative frequency. And that's going to be the percentage of times that those values occur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my data set here and I'm going to write down each unique value that I see. So looking down the first column, I see dog, I see horse, I see elephants, um, and then in the third column we've got a cat, that's a new one, and then the very last one here is a giraffe. When you're identifying the animals, it doesn't matter the order that you have them. So I went down each column of the data set, if you were to look across by row, that works as well. Okay, so I think those are all of the animals that we have. I don't think I see any others. And now I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at how many times did that occur. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dogs. So seven of the preschoolers said dog. Horse, we've got one, two, three, four horse, so I'm gonna put a four next to horse. Elephant, one, two, two elephant. Cat, one, two, three, four, five, six said cat. And then we have one giraffe. So now, if I look at the bottom here and I create like a total row, if I add up all of the frequencies, the sum of this frequency column should sum to 20 because that's how many preschoolers I talk to. So 11, 13, 14, and we do in fact get 20. So that means that I didn't miss any animal. It also means I didn't accidentally double count any of them. So this is a good way to just check. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Make sure you didn't double count anything. So then the relative frequency column, I'm gonna take the frequency for that animal, so we had seven dogs, and I'm gonna divide that by the total number of data values, or the total number of preschoolers that we interviewed. So we interviewed 20 preschoolers. So seven over 20 is 0 0.35 or 35%. Now you can leave it as 0.35 or you can turn it into 35%. It doesn't matter. So then we have 4 over 20 for the next one, which is 0 0.2 or 20%. Now additionally, you don't have to show the fraction part of this calculation. So for the elephant, I'm going to jump straight to 2 over 20 is 0.1 or 10%. And again, if you want just the decimal, you can leave it as a decimal. If you like turning it into percentages, you can turn them into those percentages. So then 30% said K, 
cat. And then 1 over 20 is 0.05 or 5%. So now a way to check and make sure I didn't mess up any of these calculations, if I add up the relative frequencies, the decimal should add to 1, the percentages should add to 100. So 55, 65, 95, and it looks like I did it all right. So we don't have any calculation issues there. Okay, if you get something really close to 100%, um, like 0.99 or 99% or 99.9%, that's okay. That's probably coming from the fact that we're going to have to do a little bit of rounding sometimes in order to get those relative frequencies. So that is how we are going to organize qualitative data.